In my last video I spoke about making espresso at home and how when I used to work as a barista I would spend a while each morning dialing in coffees for the day and its customers. In that video I questioned whether that process is repeatable outside of that context in any kind of reasonable way. I've since been able to start to interrogate that. Thanks to my sponsor, Coffra Coffee, I've been able to buy some things. I spent far too long looking at what machine I should get and what grinder might do the job. It turns out buying equipment in the UK is very difficult. The market isn't really here. Um, it also turns out people in YouTube make it no easier, not really giving away much in terms of how things might perform and how more or less expensive options help or don't. Review culture is a little weird. But fortunately, I went into this with some ideas of what might be good and what to look for. Just looking at this Ranchilio Silvia, you can see it is a bit of a workhorse. It is a relatively old model now, but I had heard they were pretty mighty. And then for my grinder, I just wanted something stepless. Rather than clicking into a notch when tightening or coarsening, this grinder slides along a scale, like we all do. It basically just makes for more precision. I've worked with stepped grinders before and the difficulty with them is that the time it takes for an espresso to extract is really important and sometimes the difference between the steps is just too long. We'll give that more time later. Because right now, all we really care about is can it make coffee? And well, yes, of course it can, but is it any good? So let me take you back. One afternoon, the grinder arrived. I already had the machine and I've got everything set up on my desk. I don't have room for this in my kitchen. <laughs> I secured a kilo of coffee just in case. I wanted something reliable with a friendly margin for error to give everything the best possible chance. And this washed coffee from Mexico fit the bill. It was later in the day and I thought I could be here for hours. So I said to myself, I would only make five coffees and see what we got by the end of that. Coffees one, two, three and four all pulled far too quickly no matter what adjustment I did. Espresso is a very fast way of brewing coffee, but you've got to give the thing a chance. Under a certain amount of time, the coffee isn't able to do an awful lot, and I don't think you're really making an espresso, just a fast filter with very fine coffee. So after each shot, I tightened the grind until shot five. I was as tight as my grinder would let me go. And this happened. Still fast, and now, Mess. Nothing is broken yet, but for my pride and confidence. What was wrong, I thought, as I mopped up the debris of naive ambition? <laughs> well, this grinder works with flat burrs, one spinning against another stationary plate, and the two were not able to get close enough, so it was time to flip it over and see if it could be fixed or recalibrated, which feels like a grand word in the context but it could be recalibrated, just not instantly. I found a video on the internet that I thought told me what to do. Always read the comments. I did what I was told and it broke. Within five hours of having this pretty grinder, I had broken it. There is a link in the bio, just FYI, if you do need to recalibrate your grinder, uh, or this specific grinder, um, that won't mean you break it. After some glue and some recalibration of both the grinder and my spirit, I returned for another try. And you know what? It wasn't awful. The milk steamer does a great job of creating that silky milk you want and I managed to pull shots either side of what I think will be good, meaning the middle is technically possible. So give me a week and let's see what I can do. With this project, I really want to engage with what having these investments can actually do um, and to speak honestly about it, to make it as accessible as possible. 
I have ideas to look at how I can push that more further later, but for now it was basically, can I make a coffee as good as what I made when I worked in a coffee shop? And then how much does that cost? So far I haven't made a coffee as good as what I made in a coffee shop, so who knows what it costs. Um, if you have coffee questions, please chuck them in the comments. Um, I know that there are coffee questions and there are no stupid questions. Um, people have made coffee seem far too difficult for a long time, so there are definitely questions and it'd be great to hear what questions you have. Um, but to finish, a word on my sponsor. There's no way I could have made this video without the sponsorship that I've got from Coffra Coffee. Um, they've resourced my time and given me um, money <laughs> uh, to be able to go get machines and um, support me with coffee so that I can just say some things. <laughs> um, there's a belief and confidence that there is value in what's being said and I'm really grateful for that. I used to work for Kofra and I'm proud of what they represent. Um, I learned a lot working with the team. Yeah, it stands for so much with in coffee. Um, high quality um, care and attention and yeah, then good customer service, which are all things I think are important. Um, and we'll see where the company goes, but for now, one way it's going is supporting me in, um, yeah, trying to have a different conversation with him and coffee. Um, the discount code is Simeon20, unless it changes, and I'll flash that up on screen. Um, and that is for 20% off. It applies to this coffee that I've used in this video. Um, it is a sweet, drinkable coffee. It's a crowd pleaser. It'll be nice with milk. Um, and should be relatively easy to make something nice on espresso next week. I will talk more about dialing it in. Um, but for now, why don't you go buy this Mexican coffee? Link in the description um, with the 20% discount and have a go at dialing in on your machine or having its filter. But yeah, that's all. And. <laughs>